Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, we talked about uh, electronic configuration. So in this video, I will now be looking at uh, what are some of the exception as to in terms of uh, the valence, in terms of the electronic configuration of an atom of a, or an element. So now let's see and look at some of the exceptions that does not apply when we say the valence number equals to the group number of that element. Okay, so I want to emphasize the key point that um, when the valence number, okay, when we configured calcium, we add 282, okay. Now you discover that the last number in the configuration represent the valence as well as uh, the group number. Now there are some exceptions to some of the elements the last number who normally keep on increasing, you discover that, for instance, uh, nitrogen, which is uh, in group seven, in group seven, uh, nitrogen is uh, 14 and seven. So when you configure seven, you discover that this is going to give you two, five. Now, there's an exception to nitrogen as the last number, which is five, which is in the shell, the last shell, gives you the group number. But this, okay, uh, this, uh, the valence is not actually five. The valence now must be eight minus five to find uh, the valence of nitrogen. This is because now we are looking at what is known as a, an octet rule, okay? So an octet rule means that an atom must be stable if it has got eight electrons in its last shell or just eight electrons in the last shell. So the point I want to emphasize is that um, when the last number in the last shell is five, all the way up to eight because when you go on the periodic table you discover that um, the groups are, are numbered from one to eight now for this rule to work that the last number in the last year when you do the an electron configuration also represent the valence of that number but for the numbers for the elements that have in the last year five and above then the valence becomes something else okay so whenever you discover that um, the last number in the last shell is five it is from five six seven and eight you need to subtract that number from eight which is the total number of groups meaning we have uh, eight groups on the periodic table okay Now, having, say, having emphasized on that uh, part, let's now look at uh, the actual balancing of um, uh, a chemical equation, okay? So, I'll start with a simple one. So, we have hydrogen plus oxygen to produce water. Now, whenever you're writing a balance uh, chemical equation, make sure that you also include the state symbol of each and every single element or atom that is involved in that uh, uh, reaction or chemical equation. So hydrogen, this is a gas, and then this is also a gas. Uh, this is liquid, liquid. So we have hydrogen plus oxygen will give us, will give us water. So hydrogen plus oxygen equals to water. So now we want to balance. Now when you're balancing, ensure that um, this is same as an equal sign, but we, want, we don't want to be more mathematical when you're writing a chemical equation. We just uh, use a forward arrow to show that something is produced at the end of a chemical reaction. Okay, so now this plus that equals to Whenever you're balancing a chemical uh, reaction, you have to understand that before the, before the arrow, 
these elements they represent they are called reactants okay they are called reactants and then after the forward arrow they are called products okay the products these are the products that are formed once the reactant they mix and then they produce a compound or a single element depending on the type of reaction that you are looking at they produce what is known as products okay now again meaning the number the total number of atoms in the reactant must be equal to the total number of uh, the atoms on the product side so this means that we have two hydrogen and then we also have two hydrogen meaning hydrogen and hydrogen is already balanced so there is no there, there, there isn't um, we don't have to take we have to ensure that we separately or individually check that each atom that is appearing on the reactant side this side before the arrow is the same as those the number of atoms that are reappearing in the product side so we have two hydrogen two hydrogen which is balanced so we don't have to do anything let's now go to oxygen now you discover that oxygen is two there but there there is only the one oxygen what this means that you go now to the part or to the side where there are less number of atoms for that particular element that you are trying to balance up so we discover that on the product side there is only one oxygen but how do we make that oxygen uh, how do we change from one to two how do we increase the number of atoms okay whenever you are balancing we put numbers in front um, in front of that particular element or compound to show that these numbers that we are putting they represent that the number of molecules that are taking part in a chemical reaction so the number in front represent the number of molecules so whatever might be in front of oxygen hydrogen and water they represent the number of molecules okay so in a simple way without wasting much of a time i will just write two tab okay so you put two there but you have to be so careful that uh, this two it simply means that it will affect whatever element in that compound is in that compound so these two represent hydrogen at the same time represent oxygen so you have to ensure that when you're calculating um the two is uh, affecting whatever element is there so you discover that to find the total number of atoms for hydrogen then you say two times two you get four and then for oxygen two times one there is one there which we don't normally show not necessary so two times one you get two so meaning we have made possible that oxygen is now turned from one to two but again we we shouldn't just end there we have to counter check and see that we have balanced up so now hydrogen hydrogen has got four oxygen has got two on the products now on the reactants hydrogen just two oxygen just two okay so now hydrogen is four i've written four there meaning that what i'm supposed to do is i'll just now see the way in which i can make this two or change this two into four so it's just a matter of putting the two in front of um, hydrogen and then for oxygen you can see that oxygen is two and oxygen is two so oxygen is balanced and then hydrogen is now four so that means finally you have balanced a chemical equation uh, for the reaction between hydrogen and the oxygen so that's it ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching if you have not subscribed to this channel please please do that so that whenever i post all the new videos or anything uh, 
concerning any subject chemistry physics biology mathematics and english make sure you are able to get all the updates otherwise if you don't subscribe meaning you'll be lagging behind as to what kind of things have i posted or what are some of the new contents that i've posted so please don't forget to subscribe and uh, give us uh, a thumbs uh, up so that uh, we can see improve on our videos i improve on my videos and so on and so forth your comment is going to help me to improve on the quality of the videos on the thing that you guys you want to actually see me actually teaching about and the thing that you really just want to actually want to learn so that's it for this video balancing electronic configuration so i believe that you are going to get one or two three things now before i leave you i'll give you something to balance so that uh, you can just keep on practicing so uh, this is the homework so i want you to balance this one nitrogen plus hydrogen equals to uh, equals to n nh3 okay so this is nitrogen okay this is nitrogen and then hydrogen So we have nitrogen plus hydrogen, then produces this is hydrogen, going to produce ammonia. So if you, you, you want to be understanding what kind of a product to be formed, ensure that first of all, if possible, you can convert the chemical reaction or equation into word, uh, uh, word equation so that you can begin to understand what is really uh, going on and be able to know that whenever they give you something like that, then we call it ammonia. Whenever they give you something that is hydrogen, nitrogen. So I want you guys to include all the state symbol, whether nitrogen is a gas, solid, liquid, whether hydrogen is a gas, uh, solid, liquid, whether ammonia is a gas or an aqua solution, and then balance the chemical equation, and then post your answers in the comment section below so that uh, we can get to see how you guys are moving. And uh, if there is any part where you are like, um, maybe you don't actually understand, then I'll be able to redo the video and obviously that way it's going to actually help you and assist you in a... Uh, uh, you know, building the fundamentals of our chemistry, understanding chemistry. Okay, so that's it. And uh, welcome um, to the end of this video. It's bye-bye, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Much more on hydrogen, but 